Hello and welcome YouTube. This is Gaming Devil here, bringing you my second tutorial video. This is Metal Gear Solid 5: The Phantom Pain, and I will be showing you a very quick and easy way to make money, otherwise known as GMP. This will affect your offline amount, so it won't matter if you do it online or offline. Today we will be collecting two M84A mag loader tanks two of them per run and a run is just between checkpoints you'll see in a second it's easier said than done or easier seen than told sorry we will be going to eliminate the tank unit six this is done in angola so you have to be a reasonable way through the game we'll also be using the d walker with the F ballista device so you have to have that developed you also need at least a cargo 2 Fulton device development I'm going to be using the wormhole I've also set all my weapons to tier 1 so that it costs the least and using the bionic arm because I cost nothing I have no support weapons and no items selected this brings my de deployment cost down to about 14,430. Mm, might change here in a second. Hold on. Mm, go with the first one. Okay, 11,430. Now for your character, I just have olive drab. That way it's cheap again taking out the deployment cost now you want to do this at night uh, hold up let me make sure I got the cargo uh, uh, yeah okay I as I'm saying you want to do this at night because it makes it easier for you to see your Fulton device aiming marker now as we get in here you'll notice well, once you jump off the chopper, you'll notice that the tanks and the people start shooting at the chopper. Don't worry about that. One, they won't destroy it, or unless you have a really weak chopper, they might. I have pretty well upgraded. But they'll shoot the chopper. They don't notice you yourself, and once the chopper's gone, they'll settle down. really wish you could skip this, but... Eh. Oh, well. Alright, you see the first tank here. I can't see the second one right yet, but it's pretty much right under us. Switch over to the other side. Okay, you get a glimpse of it there before I jump out. Now, like I said, they'll shoot at the chopper, but they haven't noticed you. And just glide from right here, take aim at your tanks. The quicker your aim, the quicker this is done, obviously. My aim's not all that fast. <laughs> now you'll turn around and go across this little road here, just to the other side of the bend. And it will activate a checkpoint after you get up by this tree here, right here. Once you get to this and the checkpoint starts, just go on and open your select menu. Check, hit, click on checkpoint. This will start you over from that checkpoint. But because it is a side op mission and you did not complete it, everything will have respawned. So if you want to get, if you want to take the time view the soldiers and pick out soldiers you want you can take them just make sure you leave at least one because if you finish this mission it is likely you won't be able to do it ever again sorry about that that was one of my cats now if you also noticed 
my F Ballista ammo has replenished. That is another benefit of using the D Walker. But the main and most important benefit of it is that one, you can get to the tanks from a distance without being spotted. And two, it does not cost you anything. Doing a regular Fulton costs you 10,000 per vehicle extraction. But using the D Walker Fulton device, costs you nothing so it instead of folding one tank which is worth a hundred thousand and spending ten thousand to do it only getting a profit of ninety thousand you're getting the full hundred thousand worth so I'm gonna do this a total of five times this should be my third run I am recording this after the fact Yes, I did try to make it sound as if I was in the game earlier. Sorry. <laughs> now, it is actually easier to aim at the back one first and then the front one. That way, you're not only... You don't have the chance of the either the wormhole kind of blinding you to where you're aiming, nor if you're using the regular Fulton device of hitting the balloons when you go to shoot. Because if you hit the balloons, it will mess up the Fulton and you gotta aim and shoot again. So I'll go for the back one first here. Now there are six enemy soldiers here in groups of two. You can take a few of them if you want, like I was saying, or just leave them be and not worry about it. Now right here I hear a truck a little further up at that uh, guard post. That's why I'm only going to stop at five runs because it comes through every now and then. You can either wait for it to pass or you can fold in it too. I wouldn't recommend engaging it as then you have the chance of tanks coming. I've also found that once you get up close, go on and take aim and start arming your device and hold down A so that it stops you from moving too far forward. Or, I'm sorry, not A, X. God, why am I thinking X? I never get so much Okay, now, I'll go in and show you how many I've got. Resources, vehicles. There we go, 10 mag loader tanks. 100,000 each for a total of 1 million. And only, what, 5 minutes of actual gameplay? Pretty cheap. And you can do this for, hell, hours and make tons. Anyways, this is Gaming Devil taking off. Enjoy.